The plant line command creates a freehand plant line along a line, polyline, or polygon. It can be used to represent a single plant, line of plants, or general plant mass. This command is great for quickly creating a freehand effect for the 2D representations of your plants. You can then add a shading effect using the freehand tool. In this example, I have already created an image prop for the 3D representation of a shade tree. But now I need a 2D representation. I'm going to start by simply drawing a circle. The shade tree will have a spread of 25 feet, so I've created a circle with a 25 foot diameter. Then with the circle still selected, go to the landmark menu and select the plant line command. Just set your desired segment length, thickness, and corner type for your line and click OK. We now have the base polygon for our 2D tree. Now you can quickly add a solid color or gradient fill. If you would like to add a shading effect, simply select the freehand tool from the basic palette and draw some simple shapes. Then set their line weight to none and add a fill color, or in this case, I will use the same gradient as I did for the main fill. But I will adjust the opacity of the objects and then use the attribute mapping tool to shift the gradient making it darker or lighter to create a shading effect. Now I can simply place my 3D image prop over top of my 2D tree, select all of the objects, go to the landmark menu, and select create plant. You can now add all the data for your new shade tree to the plant definition. As you can see, the plant line command with the freehand tool allows you to easily produce detailed 2D plants. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical info. Thank you, and have a great day.